Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, good morning. Um, so uh, just a little bit about myself. My name is Jero Bagri, founder of IndieStack, the number one private, private community for indie founders. And today I will present to you kind of my steps and tips on how I got uh, Product of the Day on Product Hunt, which is, you know, kind of a pretty big, it's not a big deal, but, you know, it definitely is, uh, it's definitely a feat to, to accomplish. And um, so I'll give you guys some tips, some tricks and kind of things that I did um, to, to pretty much acquire that uh, that uh, goal there. So, um, yeah, I've been going to Minibar for, for years now, for some presenter, so a little nervous. Um, just want to thank the Minibar team for, for you know, having me on. Um, and I'm really excited to share, you know, my knowledge. So um, let's get started. Yep. So this is this is Indie Stack. This is the kind of the private community that I that I run. Um, you can go. To, you can find it at indiestack.co. Um, pretty cool. There's forums. There's chat. Uh, we got uh, member. Uh, we got the maker circle where you can kind of build in public, privately, and stuff like that. Um, check it out if uh, as you're listening to the uh, presentation. So. Um, and also the you know note the the cool badge that you get uh, the product hunt uh, number one product of the day uh, always really nice to have when you see that um, this is kind of you know my main goal was was actually when I launched on product hunt my main goal was just to actually get on the front page and maybe get a few upvotes um, and then once I saw when I <laughs> once I woke up in the morning uh, and I saw that I was kind of trending on the front page I was like okay so now now we got to really get down uh, to to work here because it it is a battle. And I'll kind of explain that a little bit more as, as we go through the presentation. But, but yeah, the, the cool thing you know you get out of this is this cool uh, product of the day, um, really nice. So <laughs> yep, okay, so let's move on. So here's some common myth, myths that uh, about product, uh, product hunt, launching on product hunt. So, um, so you don't need to be hunted by a successful hunter. Um, I wasn't hunted by anyone, I hunted myself. Um, I have maybe like 150 or 200 followers on, uh, on on product hunt and that's all coming from my twitter um so i wouldn't say i'm successful at all there's tons of people that uh, get hunted by some really successful hunters and sure they get a really nice bump uh and you know maybe they end up getting product of the day uh it's not you know it's a myth that you needed to get product of the day or on the front page that's definitely not true um as someone you know personally uh i didn't so that's just one example um so you can't uh, another myth is that you can't link directly to your product hunt page that's also not true you can send your link to anyone that you want you know the actually you know product hunt.com slash indie stack or you know whatever your pre, uh, company name is your project name is um and you know upvotes that you get from there do count so you know there's always that kind of myth that's going on that you know you got to send them to the front page uh from there they have to find your product then upvote um again i was always linking to my product hunt page throughout the whole day and i you know ended up getting product of the day so i uh, also common myth um, so a lot of people tell me that you can't launch, you know, you can't earn product of the day on your first launch. That's also not true. Um, this is my very first product hunt launch. And, you know, uh, lo and behold, I, I somehow managed to get product of the day. So it is possible. Uh, it takes a lot of work. It takes months of work before. And we'll kind of get into that uh, through the, throughout the presentation. But, um, you know, it's definitely possible. And, um, and you should, you should uh, you know, your goal should be to get product of the day when you launch. And, um, and uh, yeah, and then the, another one is that you need a flashy GIF. You know, if you go on Product Hunt, uh, you get all the cool projects with uh, products with all the cool flashy GIFs that kind of lead people in. Sure, I mean that that helps. Uh, it could help you know someone click on you know in, onto your profile, but you know you don't need it to get product today, right? I didn't have a flashy GIF. I actually I, I tried to get a flashy GIF, but something went wrong, and that, and it just ended up being a just a regular picture um, of the logo. And um, so yeah, no no need for flashy GIFs. I know there's people that spend hours or days trying to get a cool nice gif flashy gif that does awesome cool things and sure i mean you could do it if you got the time um if you don't uh, you don't necessarily need it um so things not to do uh so you can't uh you know don't directly ask for upvotes and i'll give you guys kind of a kind of a message that i used uh when i was messaging people on uh how to how to gain support from from people um obviously don't ask them sure maybe if it's if it's a private conversation and you know do you trust the person sure you can ask for your for upvotes but you know if anyone from product hunt is listening uh right now you know i don't recommend asking for upvotes that being said you, you can do it i mean no one's gonna do anything bad about it but don't publicly do it right um yep so here's actually um 
so here's kind of a template of kind of what I was messaging people when uh, on Twitter when I actually launched on Product Hunt. So uh, it just says, you know, we just launched on Product Hunt today. Would love uh, if you checked it out and uh, let me know your thoughts. So there's no, uh, you know, I wasn't asking. I was like, hey, you know, thank, you know, go here, give me an upvote comment. Uh, definitely wasn't doing that. Just wanted to let people know about it and uh, let the product itself kind of drive uh, the upvotes for you. Um, so. What I think my my kind of thought is that product hunts is just a battle of the audiences, right? So, um, you know, basically the bigger audience you have, the easier it's going to be to kind of gather those upvotes up, if that makes sense. Um, uh, obviously, you know, you don't need a huge audience, but you need you need a good dedicated following of people that you can definitely count on on this day, on your on your, on your launch day, uh, to come and support you. So. Um, obviously, if you have, you know, if you only know one other person and you try to launch on product hunt, I mean, you know, you could you could have the best product in the world. I mean, you probably just won't get get up up there, you know, just because you know if you don't get those initial upvotes at, at the very beginning, and you don't get a post throughout the day, um, you know, if you don't have people to actually just kind of hold you up uh, at at those initial, you know, kind of first moments, um, you probably probably won't get uh, on the front page or product of the day. So definitely. Uh, Definitely start doing that. Start building your audience now. But yeah, that's kind of that, that's kind of my thought. Is you know, just to battle the audience. The bigger audience you have, the easier it's going to be uh, to acquire a product a day get on front page or whatever your goal is. Um, yeah. So launching on Product Hunt is it's an all day event, right? So I, um, you know, I stayed up until two a.m. Uh, two a.m. Uh, is about twelve p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, that's when the new day starts, right? So I I waited until two a.m. to launch. Uh, drank a lot of coffee, you know. Um, you know, my wife was already in bed, uh, baby was already in bed, but uh, you know, I stayed up and I, I was dedicated to to make this a, a, a successful launch. So I stayed up until two a.m. and uh, and then and launched. And some, you know, I went to bed for about you know maybe five hours, six hours. Woke up at seven a.m. or something, and just you know had some coffee and hit you know went back to the computer. And was pretty much from you know on my computer from 7 a.m. all the way until 10 p.m. Um, you know, and you're and, and I'll actually get into kind of what those things that I was doing on that day later in the presentation. But you know, I was glued to my computer the whole day, um, and that's pretty much what you have to do. I mean, it's you know, if you especially if you're going to be uh, if you ever kind of had that experience of being on the top three or top or, or, or the top, I mean, it really is a battle, and uh, you're pretty much doing anything that you can to keep that number one spot. Um, and even just to get to that number one spot, but it's pretty much a battle the whole day. So um, if you got any plans, cancel them, um, any calls, just cancel it. I mean, anything, I mean, this is this is going to be your day if you're really serious about getting product of the day. Cool, so um, so how, how do you earn product of the day? So now we're gonna kind of get into the actual kind of steps that I was doing to actually earn this uh, awesome, you know, awesome title here. Um, so start now, like if you're, if you're thinking about launching and if anyone here is thinking about launching tomorrow or the next week, um, uh, this, this advice is probably not for you. This is more for people that, you know, are maybe going to launch in the next six months to a year, uh, start now, just, you know, start building up your audience now, start, uh, if you don't have a Twitter, get that. I mean, just, um, uh, I mean, it's, it's something you should be thinking about, um, months before you actually, you know, your actual launch day. Um, let me see. Let's see. Yep. So, like I said, launch at midnight. Uh, so, from what I understand about Product Hunt's um, algorithm, is the longer you're on the, you know, longer you've been launched for, the the higher chance you have to kind of be up, you know, up on the front page or up on the top five or or kind of hold that first spot there. Uh, so, obviously, for us Minnesotans, that means staying up until two a.m. Uh, I mean, it, you know, it's something you have to do. Um, again, if you want the best chance to getting product of the day, I mean, you should follow all these steps. So launch at midnight. Again, that's 2 a.m. for anyone that's in the Midwest. Uh, if you're somewhere else in the world, you know, calculate what that would be for Pacific Standard Time and then just launch launch at that minute. Um, when I launched at 2 a.m., there was, you know, like right when I press a launch button, there was already like six products or seven products launched. I mean, everyone, it's just what people do. Um, let's see. Um, let's go back. Okay. So... Let's see what, what time we got it's 11 35. okay so another thing that i was doing is i was tweeting every two to three hours okay so i i you know woke up at seven and just you know pushed out that first tweet that hey hey guys you know i've launched and i'll actually show you guys uh, some of the tweets that i was sending out so 
you know, just launched my first product on Product Hunt. Uh, fun times, you know, great learning experience. You know, check it out here. Obviously, I mean, never asking for upvotes, just asking people to kind of check it out and you know, give me their thoughts, right? Um, and then, you know, every two hours, there's just some sort of variant of this kind of keeping people updated on, you know, how the launch is going. Um, and this was mostly on Twitter, right? So every two to three hours, you know, obviously I don't want to spam Twitter. Uh, I don't want people thinking I'm just spamming this, but, you know, every few hours, just because uh, if someone comes on at 8 a.m., maybe they might not see their, your tweet, but maybe at 1 p.m. they will. And uh, then they'll, you know, because of their algorithm, it's it's kind of messy, right? So who knows who will actually see your tweets. Um, so kind of having this consistent flow and obviously don't tweet anything out. Uh, else that's not product hunt related to your product uh, just keep it uh, you know this is this is what it should be your Twitter should be reserved for the product hunt launch that day uh, so that really helps and obviously you know you get tons of retweets um, likes comments I mean uh, later on I'll kind of explain the engagement portion too um, so call in your favors I mean this is this is the day that you know you know, remember that Uncle Bob that you helped kind of move into that apartment a few months ago or last year? Call him up, you know, get him on, uh, you know, get him to make that product on portfolio uh, profile, uh, get him to upvote you, you know, get him, you know, this is the day you call in all your favors that you have that, that you know, that, that, that that's been kind of stacking up over the years and, uh, and get them to upvote you. It doesn't take too long. Obviously, this is an all day event, right? So spending 10 to 15 minutes kind of walking someone through to make a profile to kind of upvote you, uh, to support you. Um, it's worth it. So, I mean, every single upvote counts. So yeah, call in every single favor that you have and uh, have pretty much everyone you know support you. Um, so send out to your email list, right? So <clears throat> if you don't have an email list at this point, moment in time, uh, I would re really highly recommend starting one. Um, it could be your personal brand, right? So it could be, you know, for me, it's yarabaggery.com. You can sign up on there. Uh, to my email list, uh, I also have an indie stack mailing list, and you know any you know any mailing list you have, an email that you have, uh, you know just send it out. Ask you know send this all out to your email list. The cool thing is about email, right? Is you know there's no algorithm; they they'll get it. So they'll they'll get that um, you know they'll get that email. They'll they'll you know there's no filters that that will you know unless it's you know considered a spam, which so that that's that's one potential downfall. But um, usually email goes right directly to the to the sender. Um, build that email email list out, and I just want to check kind of how many email lists. Um, so I think I had around yeah I had around three hundred emails um, between my personal email list and my uh, indie stack email list, right? Uh, so I blasted all those out, um, and that I, I, you know hopefully I, I think I got a few upvotes there. Um, but yeah, you know, so yeah, if you're not building it, uh, start today, start building the email list up, any single upload, you know, every single upload counts, right? So it's about battle, a battle of the audiences, you know, build that audience up as, as high as you can. Um, so post on all of your Slack, Discord, you know, Telegram channels, you know, shout it out to the world, shout, shout it out every, you know, to every single corner on the internet, every single nook and cranny. I mean, let everyone know that you're launching today. If you're not a part of any Slack or Discord or Telegram channels, I highly recommend, you know, going online, trying to find a few, uh, being part of the community, right? So months before, you know, just actually, you know, actually be a part of the community, Ask <clears throat> actually uh, put in uh, the work to build relationships up, um, help people out. And then when the day comes that uh, you kind of call in that favor, uh, they'll be there for you, right? So um, Slack, Discord, Telegram channels, really nice place to uh, build relationships. Uh, build an audience, um, and then I'll obviously you know spread the word when when you launch. Uh, I just want to check the time. Okay. Um, yeah. So engage with everyone that comments. You know, on Product Hunt, on Twitter, on Reddit, uh, anywhere that you launch on Facebook. I mean, just I mean, again, it's an all day event, so you're going to be answering. Uh, you know, you're going to be replying. You're going to be having conversations about your product the whole day, right? People want to know what it is. Um, this is this is your product's day, right? So with uh, and from from what I understand, actually on product hunts with product hunts algorithm, it's not all about the upvotes, right? So there's many times I've seen where you know one product has um, less upvotes, uh, maybe more comments, or maybe even less comments and less upvotes, uh, but are still ranked higher than someone else, right? Um, so if anyone's commenting, you know, start a conversation on product hunt itself. Uh, if someone asks you a question, you know, just answer it. Uh, be engaged and you know engage the community that that's actually going on to the page. Same with Twitter, as you, as you saw a couple of slides back, I was tons of comments, right? So I was always you know if someone asked a question, I was always engaging with them. Um, this will you know this could help uh, the visibility of the tweet. This could 
um, help other people kind of find out about your, about your launch, the more engaged that that uh, I, I don't know too much about the Twitter Twitter, Twitter algorithm, but um, you know just just engage your uh, you know I was pretty much messaging people all day long uh, on my on my launch day. Um, yeah, so also post on Reddit, Hacker News, uh, Facebook, uh, anywhere that that's relevant, right? So depending on what your product is, uh, post to the right uh, Reddit channels. Obviously, don't come off too spammy, especially at Reddit. You know, they don't really like the self-promotion. But there are self-promotion channels out there. Like, I think there's r slash, um, like, self-promotion or something like that, or r slash, you know, whatever. So you can, you can just, just post it anywhere that that's that it's allowed. Um, obviously, if it's a tech focus, you know, if it's e-commerce-focused product, uh, post it on, you know, an e-commerce page. Maybe you'll get banned. Maybe you'll... Get the post taken down, but hey, it's worth it's worth a try, right? Um, just get as many eyes as possible. Same with Hacker News. Hacker News is kind of hit or miss. You know, Hacker News. You know, ranking on Hacker News is is a completely different discussion. But you know, just post it on there. Maybe it'll get a few extra eyes. Maybe a few extra upvotes. Um, and then obviously anywhere else, anywhere else, anywhere else that's relevant, depending on what your niche is, um, there might be forums. There might be other you know communities out there that you can post to. So. Um, Let's move forward. Yeah, ask your mom. Like this is, <laughs> I when I when I woke up, it was like I don't know one p.m. or something like that. I just called my mom up, and uh, actually, I think she was over here or something like that. It's so, uh, looking after my baby, and well, I was kind of doing my product hunt thing, and you know, I was like, hey, hey, mom, I uh, you know, I launched on product hunt. She had no idea what that is. Obviously, who who does? You know, if you're not in the tech sphere, if you're not in the product sphere, no one's you know, no one's gonna know what product hunt is. But I, uh, you know, I kind of walked her through to make an account. I asked, uh, you know, if she upvoted me. Um, uh, same with my wife, same with my sister, you know, I was just asking anyone that I could, um, again, it's an all day event. So you do have, you know, you should have the time to spend 10 to 15 minutes to, to help someone through, uh, make a product kind of pro profile and kind of help you, uh, you know, kind of support you on that day. Um, yeah. So ask all your friends, you know, for shout outs, retweets, you know, comments, anything, you know, ask them to post to their Facebook, um, uh, you know, sh you know, have them tweet about it or have them retweet about it. Um, I mean, anything that's anything that's probably got coworkers. I mean, just ask them as well. I mean, anything that's possible, just tell them. Uh, you know, this is the day. Ask them for your support. So, um, so one cool thing I did, and obviously this takes a lot of work, uh, but uh, you kind of, I mean, it, it does help a lot, right? Is DM every single follower you have now. This could mean, you know, depending on what your following is. For me, I had around twenty four hundred followers on Twitter, and around six hundred on my indie stack, and I literally messaged every single person on there. And I think uh, I do have. Oh no, I don't. So let's just go back one. Yeah, so I actually don't have. Um, I thought I had a little. Actually, I do have that DM that I that I had uh, up front. So. Um, yeah, I pretty much DM every single person. Um, I I think I kind of hit the limit on DMs, where because it was like you can't DM any more people. Like it wouldn't it wouldn't actually send the DM anymore. Like that's how that's how much I was DMing everyone. So I literally just went down through my follower list from from the top all the way at, until Twitter's like, all right, man, no more no more DMs. Uh, just DM every single person. It did take a few hours. Um, again, this is this is an all day event, so you should take the time out to DM every single person. Um, again, if you're serious about this. Uh, why not? You know, why why not give it to you know? Why not tell everyone out there about it? Um, let's see what else. Um, but yeah, so six hundred people. You know, on my indie stack, twenty four hundred people. I, I don't think I actually hit all twenty four hundred. I think it stops at like I don't know five hundred or something like that. But you know, I just I just DM'd every single person I could. Um, so yeah, launch on Saturday and Sunday, um, right? So all the big players, all the big players. You know, the Zoom. I think Zoom just uh, launched their product sometime last week right and they're, they're launching between i think tuesday to thursday is you know like the prime time i think wednesday is like the prime time for if, you, if you're trying to get as many eyes as possible i think that's when most people are on product hunt uh saturday and sunday none of the big players are launching you know no one's there's just not enough eyes the the traffic is low i mean that that's a good thing and a bad thing right it's a good thing because when you're not competing you, know, you don't have the chance or you I mean, you have the chance to actually compete with all the other indie players because you know no big company is going to be you know launching. No one that's you know has a huge awesome product. <clears throat> not not saying that it, you know you got your guys' products aren't awesome, but you know all the big players you know, like the Zoom, the Google, whatever, whoever's you know has the huge amounts of money. Um, they're all launching you know on the weekday, so um, I would highly recommend. Um, and I launched on Saturday, right? So I mean, one I. 
Um, <clears throat> I just don't have the time throughout the week. Uh, Saturday is the only day I kind of have you know a good chance to actually do this. Um, and two, there's you know, and the biggest thing is there's just ton, like, much less competition, right? Uh, on the other on the other hand, the um, you know, there's definitely less traffic, right? So, so if you are trending or if you're on the front page, there's there is less eyes on your product, which means you know if you're trying to optimize page views, you know, uh, to your site or subs, you know subscriptions or uh, or whatever, you know, you're not you're going to get a lot less traffic, right? Um, but if your goal is to get you know that that badge, you know, the product of the product of the day badge, uh, which that was my goal, uh, launch on Saturday <clears throat> or Sunday, um, both both are fine. Um, let's see what, what we got on time. Nice. Um, so yeah, have early adopters, right? So um, obviously don't create your product um, and then just launch that next day, right? Um, you know, work at it for a while, you know, have beta users, have um, early adopters. When I launched Indie Stack, I had, I think it was around 80 people in the community and um, obviously I was building relationships up, relationships up with, with them throughout throughout the months that, that led up to this product on launch. Um, and and uh, and yeah, and when I asked them for that call to action, you know, they were there. They they helped me. They helped me on my battle day. Um, so I had you know eighty people that that went went to help me. And obviously, you should have hopefully a good amount. You know, I mean, the more the more the merrier, right? Um, but but always you know maximize this. And obviously, the, the, the people that are using your product are the are, are the people that actually uh, understand your product. They they're the ones that are loving your product, right? And they should be the first ones to go and support your product on 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 launch day. So definitely, you know, and obviously you should, be, you should be collecting their emails as well. So you should have this email list on, on the product that you have uh, launching. Um, yeah, so write a great intro comment, right? So, and this is more for people that are organically going into your product on the page, right? So when you are on the front page and someone's kind of scrolling through and maybe already at, maybe you're already at the top, right? Um, once you're at the top, once you're first, it's kind of like a flywheel where basically all the, you know, people go on to product content and just like the first, you know, product. Like, oh, that's cool. And then they just like the first three or something. So uh, once you're once you're first, you know, you're kind of already, you know, winning if that makes sense. And it's kind of hard to fall off that first place. But uh, it's you know, if you're kind of trending down a little bit lower, um, there's people out there that are kind of looking. Uh, they might click on your profile. They'll read that comment. Obviously, they'll see they'll see the product itself. Maybe they'll visit your page, but they'll also read that that comment that you see. You get the first comment, right? Uh, you know, make the story memorable, make it personal, um, sell your product in that comment, right? So you want people, you know, you want those organic uh, upvotes as well. Um, you know, alongside having your audience upvote you, you also want the organic upvotes as well. And I think, you know, it's kind of hard to say, you know, what what played more. Was it the organic upvotes? Was it my audience? Um, hard to say, you know, obviously you can't really track. I mean, you could track the upvotes. You could go in and see exactly who upvoted you and who you know, who you don't, but it takes too long. Um, so yeah, prepare an offering slash, slash discount, right? So um, it's always a cool thing, you know, if someone comes in and you know, your, if your product is say ten dollars a month for your SaaS, <clears throat> you know, offer you know fifty percent discount, thirty percent discount. I mean, however you want to do it, uh, but offer it for that day, right? So offer it for anyone that, that goes there, and that'll kind of help sell that product to them and maybe help them try it out, right? Um, if they try it out, they'll be you know much more likely to upvote you. So having that discount is is always a really, you know, I 100% recommend that discount there or whatever offering it is, you know, it could be, I mean, it's, it's up to you, but always have something that you're offering to the product hunt community. Uh, obviously you want to take, you want to give value first before you take value or if you, you know, before you take up those. Oh man, let's see, let's go back. Um, <clears throat> so genuinely, genuinely have a great product. Obviously, if you don't have a great product, I mean, no matter, I mean, I guess you, I guess technically you could have a really bad product and just have a huge audience, uh, where everyone's upvoting you and yeah, sure. You can get product of the day, but having a genuine, you know, generally good product, um, will really help those organic, you know, those organic users on product hunt to, to go and check your product out. Be like, oh, wow, this is actually really cool. Uh, really nice product and actually, you know, upvote you, right. Um, obviously, that, that's what product hunt is, right? But you know, it's it's gonna, it's more than that. Like I said, it's it's kind of the battle of the audiences. But having a great pro great product always, you know, it, it's kind of the the core essentially. I mean, that's kind of the core of it of it of it all. Everything else is just kind of like <clears throat> kind of side. You know, if that's like the main dish, uh, this is all kind of like side dishes. Um, so yeah, save your ammo throughout the day, right? So you don't want to have this huge burst of uh, upvotes at the very beginning. Um, what, so what I did is at two a.m. I launched. Uh, tweeted out for anyone that's on the other side of the world that that are my followers. Um, uh, 
messaged a few of the more influential people that I know. And obviously I was building relationship, relationships up months before this. And I just, I, I knew a ton of people and I messaged some of the people that, you know, maybe some of the bigger guys that, you know, bigger people, uh, bigger followers that have, you know, good following to kind of tweet it out and kind of ask for their support. And, and some of them took that call to action um, and tweeted, you know, and then retweeted and tweeted about it. And that really helped kind of the visibility when I was kind of sleeping through that six, you know, from 2 a.m. to I think I woke up at like seven um, to really actually kind of get those upvotes at the beginning. But I, I did try to get um, a few upvotes, maybe at least five or 10 upvotes before I went to bed. Um, that, that wasn't too hard. I, I, I knew a ton of people from across the world that were awake that I asked for their, their support and they did support me. Um, so that always helps, right? Um, oh, and also uh, the other thing uh, about saving your ammo throughout the day is, uh, from what I understand, you know, if you have this huge burst, right? So if you have like 100 upvotes at the very beginning, but then you got nothing throughout the rest of the day, um, you know, that's going to bring your uh, ranking down on product on that day. So what you want to do is kind of, um, uh, I guess my goal, obviously with the tweeting every two to three hours, that'll definitely help with, you know, just kind of, you know, getting passive upvotes throughout the day. Um, I definitely saved my email lists uh, throughout the day. So I had one, I think I, I might've even sent out two emails that day. So uh, one in the morning, kind of one in the afternoon. Uh, afternoon is kind of that big time. So between I think 3 p.m. to like 7 p.m. or something like that is kind of the, the prime time that everyone's on product hunt. And, uh, you know, and obviously, and, and that, that's kind of when you want the, the most ammo saved up, but you definitely want to have some ammo at the, at the very beginning to just kind of get momentum. Um, so obviously, yeah, um, message, messaged out, you know, people throughout the day. Uh, I was always DMing, right? So that, that I spread that those DMs across the whole day. Um, so I might have spent like, you know, first 15 minutes DMing a few people, then waited an hour, you know, did another 15 minute session of DMing people waited, you know, maybe 30 minutes or whatever. I mean, just, just kind of spread that, that out. Um, so yeah, so save it out throughout the day. Don't, don't, uh, you know, don't, you know, bombard, you know, all of your, all of your followers and audience up for you, uh, just spread it out throughout the day. Um, again, it is an all day event, right? Um, so the conclusion, you know, have fun, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's a fun thing, you know, you don't want to be stressed out about it too much. I mean, this is all just fun and games, right? So I just have fun about it. It, it, it really is, you know, it's, it's fun when you're at the top, it definitely is an adrenaline, adrenaline rush that you, you want again. It's, it was really nice uh, being there and actually battling it out, uh, to get, to get burst. Right. Um, so there's always next time, right? So if, you know, if this product doesn't do well, Hey, you know, you got another product, you always got it, you know, it's a learning experience. Um, so there's always next time and next time you can do, you know, maybe have a bigger audience, uh, maybe have a better product, uh, maybe follow, you know, launch at midnight. I mean, do all these steps to, to get uh, the best chance to get product of the day. Um, another big takeaway, build, start building your audience now, right? So this is, this is, the, this is what you got to do. You know, I mean, it's not something you can just launch the next, you know, tomorrow, right? Um, spend six months building that audience, I build relationships up, you know, what I was doing throughout those six months, you know, as I, uh, gained followers on Twitter, as I met people uh, online, I, I was helping them, right? So I was helping them with any problems that they had. Um, if they had any questions, I was always providing value first. And then uh, when my day came, I asked for that favor back uh, in the form of support for my product. Um, and obviously create a great product. Uh, this, I mean, this alone could drive you to, to number one, but uh, if you do the rest of the stuff around, you know, you can, you can, uh, you can take a product and, and bring it up uh, to first. Um, but having a great product definitely helps. So, um, so how you can contact me, uh, you just email me at yarslabaggery.com. Uh, check out my website at yarslabaggery.com. Uh, obviously, check out IndieStack at IndieStack.co. Um, and uh, Twitter at <clears throat> Yara Bagri. Um So you can follow me on there for awesome tweets. Um, and yeah, so if there's any questions, please let me know. Um, I'm definitely an open book, so. Yeah, so anyone have any if anyone has any questions, let me know. 
Um, but yeah, product hunt is definitely a, uh, you know, definitely one of those harder things to do. And uh, you know, if you get that product hunt, you know, I mean, there's so many, so many people that can actually get product hunt, you know, product of the day. I mean, there's 300, you know, every day, 365 per year can only get it. So it's definitely a, something you really should take seriously if you if you want to actually get it and uh <clears throat> and yeah so yeah i think we're kind of at the end of the presentation so thank you everyone for listening and i hope you know uh, if you are launching on product hunt uh email me or, or dm me and i'll definitely support you um i definitely wanted to check out what kind of products the, the community is is launching um and if you have any questions, obviously just email me or DM me again. Uh, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys uh, later. So.